peace kings peace queens back at it again my legends my brethren let's get it on again with another video um shout out to my man dave um inspired me to drop some more videos and um shout out to all those who are watching me and who hit the like button and who subscribe i really appreciate you guys um i do this for you and um and i'm and i do this for for just um the purpose of um releasing truth into the atmosphere right now i really want to talk about a serious topic and i want to be reacting um this is not going to be about a celebrity or anything like that this is going to be about toxic masculinity i want to dive into that I want to dive into that discussion. Toxic masculinity. Ooh. You know, the more I live is the more I just don't understand the, the labels and why people create more labels just so that they can judge people on the basis of the definition of words and things they don't even understand. If you ask most people what toxic masculinity is, they do not know the definition of it. They do not know the definition of it. Let me ask you a question. Ladies who are listening to this, if there is a such thing as toxic masculinity, is there a such thing as toxic femininity? Because I find that to be ridiculous. I've never heard someone say, you know, you're a ridiculous, uh, the toxic femininity. The, fe the, 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 the femininity that's coming off of you right now is so toxifying. It's just ridiculous. The things that people come up with. If you're, if you're, if, if, I mean, if you have toxic masculinity, it stands to reason that you will have its opposite, toxic femininity. Now, you want to know what the true definition of toxic is? Hyper feminism. That's toxic femininity. If there is a such thing, that's toxic femininity. So we got to stop with the I don't I don't think to me toxic and femininity or toxic and masculinity go together if you're a masculine man that's a positive if you're a feminine woman that is a positive how do you put something that is toxic next to masculinity so you're saying i'm toxic because i'm a man so can it be reversed and say you're toxic because you act like a female you're toxic because you feel like the need to nurture you're toxic because you feel the need to take care of your family. You're toxic because you you need you feel the need to, to be a housewife. You're toxic because you're emotional. You shouldn't be emotional. You know, that's the same thing. Because when you flip it, they say, well, men are not as emotional as women are. So that's what makes us toxic. Really? The fact that any difference about us makes us toxic to you. Are you sure you're just not toxic to difference? Why don't you just say toxic difference? He's different than we are, so he's toxic. Why don't we do that? Men are different than women, so that, that, that makes men toxic. Women are different than men, so let's make that makes women toxic. That's the ridiculousness that is perpetuating itself through society today. So society today has nothing to do with itself but to promote more darkness throughout the stratosphere and want all of us to be the participants in this ugly race of a competition against each other. I'll tell you the truth. As a masculine male, I am never in a competition with a woman. Never in competition with a woman. 
A woman can be in competition with me all she wants, but as a masculine male, I am never in a competition with a woman because you cannot win a competition against a female. That is not how we are created. That's not how a, that's not how that's not how we're built. We're not built to compete with women. I'm here to protect women. I'm here to secure women. I'm here to lead women. I'm not here to compete with you. If I have to compete with you, then I will turn my back and I will leave you right where you're standing. Because I have ordained headship. Me being who I am, I get my authority from another realm. I get my authority from a realm that's unseen. God, I have God-given authority to be the head. That's not masculine. I mean, that's not toxic masculinity. That's masculinity. I'm masculine because we are powerful. We're masculine because we protect. We're masculine because we secure. We're masculine because we're pro we provide. Okay? We're masculine because we discipline. If those traits are mass are, are, are toxic, could you imagine a world without discipline and structure? Could you imagine a world where everybody's emotional and losing their minds and going crazy? That's exactly what we have right now. We have men acting um, um acting soft and 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 and, and jelly back and won't stand up for their principles and morals. They won't lead their families. They won't be masculine. That's the problem. The lack of masculinity is the problem. The lack of masculinity. Not the strength thereof, the lack thereof. And that's the same thing with this on the side of, of women. They are too masculine. A lot of women are too masculine. When it should be more feminine. Because if I if you if she if she's in my role and I'm in her role. I can't do her role as good as she can. I can't cultivate as good as uh, uh, and take care of children as well as she can. I can't be as nurturing as she can. I can't multiply like she can. I cannot do the things that make women so important. But they can't do the things that make men important. And that's what we got to understand. The balancing of the energies. Soft can't be hard all the time and hard can't be soft all the time. You need both. You can't be a masculine woman and you still want to be protected. You can't be a feminine man, but you want to be the head. This is confusion. This is confusion. I'm supposed to be masculine. You're supposed to be feminine. You, t A woman takes no L's being submissive and being feminine. What L does she take? But me, if I become feminine, and me as a man, um, I become um, feminine, and I become, uh, what's the other trait? Um, if I become feminine, I take losses. I take a loss for being feminine. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to protect me and nobody's going to provide for me. So I literally take a loss for being feminine. In fact, I, most women don't want a feminine man. So I take a double loss, a triple loss. But if a woman remains in her femininity and submissiveness and makes the right choices of, of whatever man that she picks, he's going to protect her. He's going to provide for her. He's going to secure her. If I lose my masculinity, who's going to protect me? Who's going to provide for me? Who's going to secure me? Who's going to pay for me? Nobody's going to do it. So I have to be masculine. I need to be masculine. I need to walk. We need to walk in our masculinity. There's nothing toxic about masculinity. If you see a man that is, is out of control with his aggression... Is out of control with his 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 um his, he can't control his hands and his anger. That's him. That's be, his, him. That's him being um over emotional and lack of control. He lacks self discipline. That has nothing to do with masculinity. Masculine is self control. 
You can't be a masculine man and you don't have any control of your emotions. That's part of masculinity. You're supposed to have self-control. So when you see that element in men, that's not masculinity. So stop calling, stop calling a lack of character and a lack of teaching and a lack of up, uh, 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 of raising good up upbringing. Stop naming it toxic masculinity because there's nothing toxic about masculinity. It's just like there's nothing toxic about femininity. These words existed before you put that we this generation put toxic next to it. Males were always known to be masculine from the beginning of the time. Females were always known to be feminine from the beginning of the time. There's nothing wrong with being yourself. And just because you're feminine, it doesn't mean you can't do what I do. Just because I'm masculine doesn't mean I can't do what you do. But why am I competing with you? Why why would I be why why are men competing with women? And why are women competing with men? We're supposed to be working together. We are supposed to be building generations and multiplying. Being productive. Life is hard enough than to be sitting here having a battle back and forth. Men against women, women against men. That is ridiculous. We're not going to get anywhere doing that. Like I said, as a masculine male, I am never in a competition with a female. I refuse to participate. <laughs> I refuse to participate. I'm not participating in the competition against a female. You will take a double loss. If you call yourself dominating her, you take the L. If you if you call yourself being submissive to her, you take the L. There's a double loss with a man fighting against a woman. And I believe it's vice versa. She takes a loss being masculine against the male because now she's not being protected. Now she's not being protected. There's no security. Now you have to supply, you know, supply your own security. Now you got to watch your own back. You know what it is for you to have children and nobody got your back? I couldn't imagine it. If I was a female and I'm having children, I need a man that, that's going to have my back to keep these other men up off of me. Some of these ladies out here, they, you know, they're out, they out of pocket. And when I mean out of pocket, it's like, for real, you need protection. You, you, you know what kind of guys are out here? You need protection. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be a man that's going to supply that protection, supply that, that, that security for you so that you can operate in your fem femininity because we need that. That femininity brings us peace.